In this video, we will be replacing the carburetor on a Craftsman B2200 leaf blower that was uh, built by MTD Products, and the customer did not want to pay for the repair, and they told me to keep it. So let's get on with the video. To take this carburetor off, you will need a T25 or a flathead screwdriver, and there's the part number for the OEM carburetor. We're going to go ahead and remove these two long screws or bolts or whatever you want to call it. And this particular customer tried to fix it themselves and got one of those cheap $15 carburetors off everyone's favorite online website and got the lines crossed. And uh, we're going to go ahead and put the OEM carburetor on here and get it going. So we're going to remove the gas lines. And this is where I made one mistake. I didn't relieve tank pressure and a bunch of gas went flying everywhere which is always fun so just keep that in mind now our green line is the return line and our black line is the filter line or supply line and I took a quick peek into the tank to find out which line is what and that's how I found out and like I said these things are incredibly easy and simple to work on and the top on the carburetor by the primer bubble is our return line and the bottom inlet is our supply line coming off the filter out of the fuel tank and we're going to go ahead and plug the lines on and the line still felt okay i see no sense in replacing it since this blower is less than a year old and you see the carburetor is pumping up and everything we're going to hook our little throttle bend in and bolt the air box back on. Now there is a gasket behind the air box and the little yellow o-ring on the manifold is all that goes there. And we're going to go ahead and tighten these screws up. We're not going to over tighten them. And uh, like I said it took me all of five minutes to replace this carburetor but I cut a lot of it out of the video just to keep it short. And hopefully the sound settings are a lot better because I have a brand new microphone. So there's no need to over tighten the bolts or screws or whatever you want to call them. Just get them hand tight. You could put Loctite on them if you want. I didn't. And now we're going to start this thing up and adjust the brand new carburetor. So easy fix. Tag tie here. Oh, see you on the next one. 